Hi Geeks, welcome to the 10 forumscom In part 1 we installed Windows 10 on a reference machine and customized it before sysprepping the image and shutting it down. For that we needed just under an hour and a half. In this part 2 we continue from where we left at the end of the part 1. It's time to capture a system image to be deployed to other machines. Let's start the clock from where we left it. Macroom is my choice, but you can of course use your preferred imaging application. Everything done in just under an hour and 45 minutes. 
Remember, over half an hour of that was needed in installing two language packs in the first video. If you have no need for language packs, the process will be much faster for you. Notice that on Generation 1 BIOS-based virtual machines, the boot order will be automatic, no need to change it manually. Remember, we used a 100GB primary and 450GB secondary disks when creating the image. The image can be deployed to any machine with the same size or bigger disks. To add the disk containing the image, simply browse to and select it.
the image was restored in just under 13 minutes. Restoring the image and finalizing the installation took half an hour, 11 minutes longer than clean install on our reference machine. This means that instead of using 90 minutes on each machine for clean install, customizing and to install software, I just need 30 minutes using the prepared image. Even if I only had one PC, reinstalling using this image would not only be much faster, but also much easier. After setting up the initial user account and getting to desktop, I can say that everything is there. Let's freeze frame here. As you can see, our run once batch file we put to default user profile startup folder in part 1 is working. It will be automatically run whenever a new user signs in first time, resetting the quick access, then removing itself. Time to attach a network switch to be able to connect to network. All our customizations have survived the sysprep process and been copied to default user profile. Now whenever a new user profile will be created, this base profile will be used. The storage space eating users folder is nowhere to see on system drive C. It has been completely relocated to drive E as we instructed SysPrep to do in part 1. The system information is showing our OEM information and OEM logo image. The support link takes users to predefined URL. Deploying our custom image is working exactly as planned.
you can now double click the system image virtual disk to mount it on host PC and copy the image to a safe storage. When needed, boot a PC with the boot disk of your chosen imaging application and restore the image from a flash drive or network location to deploy it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Post all your questions and requests for more information in the tutorial thread at the 10forums.com.